The Jerusalem Post is a broadsheet newspaper based in Jerusalem, founded in 1932 during the British Mandate of Palestine by Gershon Agron as the Palestine Post. In 1950, it changed its name to the Jerusalem Post. In 2004, the paper was bought by Merkai Tikshorat, a diversified Israeli media firm controlled by investor Eli Azur. In April 2014, Azur acquired the newspaper Marav. The newspaper is published in English and French editions. Formerly regarded as left-wing, the paper underwent a noticeable shift to the right in the late 1980s. From 2004, under then-editor-in-chief David Horovitz, the paper took a more centrist position, competing against the staunchly left liberal Haaretz. Its former editor Steve Lind aimed to provide balanced coverage of the news along with views from across the political spectrum. In April 2016, Lind stepped down as editor-in-chief and was replaced by Yaakov Katz, a former military reporter for the paper who previously served as an advisor to Education and Diaspora Affairs Minister Naftali Bennett. History Topic: 1925–1950 An antecedent paper, the Palestine Bulletin was founded in January 1925 by Jacob Landau of the Jewish Telegraphic Agency. It was owned by the Palestine Telegraphic Agency, which was in practice part of the JTA even though it was legally separate. On 1 November 1931, editorship of the Bulletin was taken over by American journalist Gershon Agronsky In March 1932, a dispute arose between Landau and Agronsky, which Agronsky resolved to settle by establishing an independent newspaper. However, Landau and Agronsky instead came to an agreement to transform the Bulletin into a new jointly owned newspaper. Accordingly, the Palestine Bulletin published its last issue on 30 November 1932 and the Palestine Post incorporating the Palestine Bulletin appeared the following day, 1 December 1932. On 25 April 1933, the masthead was reduced to just the Palestine Post, though the newspaper continued to state its founding year as 1925 for at least a year afterwards. During its time as the Palestine Post, the publication supported the struggle for a Jewish homeland in Palestine and openly opposed British policy restricting Jewish immigration during the Mandate period. According to one commentator, Zionist institutions considered the newspaper one of the most effective means of exerting influence on the British authorities. Topic: 1948 bombing. On the evening of the 1st of February 1948, a stolen British police car loaded with half a ton of TNT pulled up in front of the Jerusalem office of the Palestine Post. The driver of a second car arrived a few minutes later, lit the fuse and drove off. The building also contained other newspaper offices, the British press censor, the Jewish settlement police, and a Haganah post with a cache of weapons. Arab leader Abd al Qadir al Husseini claimed responsibility for the bombing, but historian Uri Milstein reported that the bomb had been prepared by the Nazi trained Fazi el Qutb, known as the engineer, with the involvement of two British Army deserters, Corporal Peter Mersden and Capt. Eddie Brown. Three persons died in the bombing a newspaper typesetter and two people who lived in a nearby block of flats. Dozens of others were injured and the printing press was destroyed. The morning paper came out in a reduced format of two pages, printed up at a small print shop nearby. Topic: 1950 present. In 1950, two years after the State of Israel was declared, the paper was renamed the Jerusalem Post. The broadsheet newspaper is published from Sunday to Friday, with no edition appearing on Saturday the Jewish Sabbath and Jewish religious holidays. Regular opinion columnists write on subjects such as religion, foreign affairs and economics. As of 2016 the managing editor is David Brin. Some of the material is translated and included in the free Hebrew daily Israel Post, of which Eli Azur is a co-owner. In January, 2008, the paper announced a new partnership with the Wall Street Journal, including joint marketing and exclusive publication in Israel of the Wall Street Journal Europe. The Jerusalem Post also publishes a monthly magazine titled Ivrit, edited by Dr. Sarat Yalov. 
Its target audience is people learning Hebrew language and it is described as an easy Hebrew publication, meant for improving basic Hebrew reading skills. It uses the vowel notation system to make comprehension of the Hebrew alphabet abjad simpler. The Jerusalem Report, now edited by Steve Lind, is a fortnightly print and online glossy news magazine. Topic: <laughs> Ownership changes. Until 1989, the paper supported the forerunners of the Labour Party. In 1989, the paper was purchased by Hollinger Inc. A number of journalists resigned from the post after Conrad Black's takeover and founded the Jerusalem Report, a weekly magazine eventually sold to the post. The leader of the walkout was David Landau, who founded the Haaretz English edition and went on to become editor-in-chief of Haaretz until 2009. Under editor-in-chief David Makovsky, from 1999 to 2000, the paper took a centrist position. In 2002, Hollinger hired the politically conservative Brett Stevens of The Wall Street Journal as editor-in-chief. David Horowitz, who holds a center-left worldview, took over as editor-in-chief on 1 October 2004. He was expected to have the paper issue any clear political line, and the paper turned centrist again. On 16 November 2004, Hollinger sold the paper to Merkai Tikshorat Limited, a Tel Aviv-based publisher of Israeli newspapers. Canwest Global Communications, Canada's biggest media concern, had announced an agreement to take a 50% stake in the Jerusalem Post after Merkai bought the property, but the deal soured. The two sides went to arbitration, and Canwest lost. In 2011, Horowitz was succeeded by the paper's managing editor, Steve Lind, who sought to maintain its political moderation and balance. Yaakov Katz succeeded Lind in April 2016. Notable contributors Websites jpost.com jpost.com was launched in December 1996. Its current version also contains a French-language edition fr.jpost.com, blogs, an e-paper version of the daily newspaper, a range of magazines and other web versions of the group's products. According to Alexa Internet Traffic Rankings, jpost.com is among the top 3,000 websites in the United States. The site is an entity separate from the daily newspaper. While sharing reporters, it is managed by different teams. Its staff is based in Tel Aviv, while the newspaper offices are located in Jerusalem. The site contains archives that go back to 1989, and the default search on the site sends users to archive listings, powered by ProQuest, where articles can be purchased. Free blurbs of the article are available as well, and full articles are available when linked to directly from navigation within jpost.com or from a search engine. jpost.com includes the ''Premium Zone'', a pay-wall protected area, containing additional Jerusalem Post articles and special features. The site, which was given a graphic facelift in September 2014, recently relaunched its mobile and tablet applications, as well as its special edition for mobile viewing. Topic Editors Gershon Agron, nineteen thirty two to nineteen fifty five Ted Lurie, nineteen fifty five to nineteen seventy four Lee Ben Dor, nineteen seventy four nineteen seventy five Ari Rath and Erwin Frankel, nineteen seventy five to nineteen eighty nine N. David Gross, nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety two David Bar Illin, nineteen ninety two to nineteen ninety six Jeff Barak, nineteen ninety six to nineteen ninety nine David Makovsky, nineteen ninety nine two thousand Carl Schrag, two thousand Jeff Barak, two thousand to two thousand two Brett Stevens, two thousand two to two thousand four David Horovitz, two thousand four to twenty eleven Steve Lynn, twenty eleven to twenty sixteen Yaakov Katz since 2016 equals equals see also